What's up, people? So, as you guys know, when Rocket League was taken off Steam and moved over to Epic Games, it lost controller support. So today I'm going to show you how to properly import Rocket League back to Steam to gain controller support. So I've seen a lot of videos suggesting that you can use the Steam add a non-Steam game feature in order to add the Epic Games launcher or Rocket League itself and launch it with controller support. But this actually doesn't work and I'll get to why it doesn't work later on. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download Steam Grid DB Manager. So just head over to your favorite browser and go to the link in the description, hit that download button. Once that's downloaded, just go ahead and run it and click through the install wizard. And go ahead and run the program. So we start out here in the library and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this import images section and then go ahead and import the image for Rocket League. And it's gonna say that you can't do it while Steam's running. So just make sure that you exit Steam before you do this. Um, import the images, one game successfully imported, and then go ahead and run Steam. So with Steam open, you'll see there's a new category in your library called um, Epic Games Launcher with Rocket League in it. And just make sure that your controller is plugged in for the game to launch in controller mode. But other than that, you are good to go. So now I'm going to answer the question on everybody's mind. Why can't you just add Rocket League manually as a non-Steam game and run it from there? The short answer is you kind of can, but the long answer is it doesn't work quite as well. The reason for this is because when you run it um, directly as a non-Steam game without importing it through Steam Grid DB Manager, the controller input is passed to the game as keyboard input, which prevents you from getting the full range out of your analog sticks. So going left on the analog stick will basically be the same as pushing A, which is an all or nothing movement. So I'll show you this method anyway, in case you guys are curious to try it yourself. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a non-Steam game, you're gonna add the Epic Games Launcher, pop over to the Epic Games Launcher, find Rocket League, create a shortcut, Go to your desktop, find the shortcut, copy this URL in properties, go back over to Steam, right click the Epic Games Launcher, properties, and in the target field, we're gonna paste in that URL that we copied. Now we can go ahead and launch the Epic Games Launcher through Steam in order to launch Rocket League through Steam. So you'll see that even though I'm going through the options with the controller, it doesn't say press A. And also when I go into the settings, I use my keyboard and mouse for this. Um, if we change binding, say I wanna change this to A, then it actually changed the keyboard mouse binding as opposed to the controller binding because it took my controller input as a keyboard mouse input. When done properly, you'll see that it now shows A to advance through the menus. And when I go into the settings, if I change this binding here, um, to say X, it'll change the gamepad binding as opposed to the keyboard mouse binding. So that's all. Thanks for watching guys and have fun playing Rocket League with your controller.